Oh, you're right, guys. Just doing a bit of weeding in the old veggie pod there. Look, can you see that? Still got tons of spinach. Anyway, quick mishmash video today. Um, potting up the uh, condor potato that I uh, split into pieces the other day. Quick look around the two plots. Little chat about potato chits and um, onions lifting in cell trays. Beautiful day today. Look at that sky. Cool. Right, see you in a minute. Alright oh, guys, the um the half eye condors have scabbed no I'm not gonna worry not gonna use the word scab. The half eye condors have calloused over nice calloused over nicely overnight. So what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take them out of the uh, container quickly get rid of the paper and I'm gonna soak them in the old uh, dig well anti-scab solution just for half an hour or so just so it sort of sticks to all the surfaces a bit like marinating really uh, meanwhile well, that's uh, setting. Ooh, look at this all over the place today. I've gone out and I've splashed out on some, uh, what is it, uh, Mother Earth compost. So, I'm fed up with that other stuff. I've already taken one bag up the allotment to just use on beds. It's absolute rubbish. There's no point fighting it anymore, you know what I mean? It's, it's like banging your head against a brick wall after a while. You get fed up with it and it hurts. So, I mean there's bits in this. Don't get me wrong, there's little bits of stick in it. But it's the compost itself is fine, you know? Right, let's get a few of these set up. I've got five, haven't I? So. Just put a little bit in for now and I'll top the rest up. Can't believe it, the wind's picking up again. <laughs> oh, crikey. Right. So they've been soaking for a while now. Just gives them that little bit extra fight against the scab. Not that these are going to be growing. I'm, I'm not sure what to do with these yet. Whether I'm going to, um, if they grow, whether I'm going to let them grow any further, I don't know. Maybe just an experiment. We'll see. Oh, I've got six, you Wally, not five. Actually, one of them was really pathetic. That one there, I'm going to throw that one anyway. Right. There we go. Right. I'm not going to be able to do this carefully, am I? I know I'm going to make a mess. So what I'll do, I'll pour that back in the bottle afterwards. When I'm not embarrassing myself. <laughs> Right, I've got some more peppers to do, and this is in the Levington again. Makes it nice and easy for them, you know, very, very fine compost. An icy wind out there today. Gentle tamping. Oh dear. Oh yeah, I better write the numbers on first, don't I? So what we got? Um, Thirty-four Californian Wonder Pepper, 
banana sweet pepper and padron chilies. So 35, 36, 30, 34, 35. God, my writing's getting worse. I don't know if you noticed it, but the, the less you write, the worse it gets. I always remember going back to school or back to the Navy after a holiday or leave. I couldn't, I couldn't write for the first day because my hands weren't used to it. The old Lego dibber. Still there, still working. I do. As usual, I'll speed this up or cut it out because uh, this time of year all you see is people sowing seeds. And unless it's like on um, Ellie and Kate's video the other day, unless it's sowing seeds that need light, then they're all pretty much the same. Sow them roughly one, one seed's depth, that's it. You know what? This is a pepper seed. This is a cabbage seed. They're all the same. Right, speed you up. What is good about these chilli ones, peppers, is um, they're manageable. They're finger size, you know what I mean? 36 Padron, there's only a few of them, five of them. So what I'll do, I shall put every other one for them. This is why I, I started off video recording, really. I was forgetting to write things down. And, you know, not filming myself and stuff like that. And I was forgetting what I'd done. Like now, for example, I know I've got it on film that I've only done every other hole, if you know what I mean. And so when I come to look at these and think, blooming it, what a poor germination I got there. I look back at the video and thought, oh yeah, I only ever, I only sewed them wide apart. You know, it's just waffling a bit, aren't I? But... I'll do. I need to put the vermiculite in a proper container actually. It's in a bag at the moment and every time I touch it, it falls everywhere. I could probably use uh, compost for chilies actually. They don't need light. I'll do. Right, find a water tray. I'll use that one there, can I? Do, do these properly in a minute. Do, 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 do. I've got a bottle of pure oggin. So I'll use that for the uh, chillies. In fact, I could do those. What you call them, isn't it? Take the eyes. Keep it in here just so it's the same temperature as the greenhouse, really. And it doesn't take. It's tap water, but it's um. It's obviously dechlorinating because it's been in storage for a while. You know the lid off and everything. Oh, blackbird come out the hedge. Do you know what a lot of birds do is they they fly into the hedge, say there, but the nest is down there. It's a deceiving little trick to stop predators. <clears throat> right, it's a quick walk round, that's what I'm doing today. I'm trying to plan my actions for the future. So which way around should we go this way because the sun's behind me. Right, sprouts. Still picking sprouts. <laughs> Crisp, I see they're, oh, they're blowing now. It's be time to be gone soon. Little one's all right though. Crispus and Brody, those two types in there. I'm doing, I know I'm doing Crispus again uh, this year. I'm not sure if I've got any Brody. Sprouting's just starting to come up. <laughs> 
Oh, no slugs. Loads of pigeons though. <laughs> oh dear me. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. Need a bit of weeding doing, mostly annuals. Yeah. Can't remember what's that in there now, garlic or onions, I can't remember. I'll have to check when I get home. Same as this one. Decimated uh, brassicas again. This bed, I'm thinking I'm going to put me um, asparagus in part of this. Oh, that's the garlic at the end there, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, let me show you down here a minute. Oh, and of course, I keep saying it, but these um, these boards have got to go, these palette collars. I'll get round to it. Strawberries. Still there. Yeah, because if you remember, this was all one big um, hedge there. All down there. Uh, I've got sprouts there again. Twenty twenties kale, still growing. <laughs> and I bet you it's covered in white fly already. Oh no, not too bad. Perhaps they all got blown off in the last couple of storms. And that's twenty twenty one's kale down there, crispy. I don't mind it. I'm getting used to this. I must admit, that's sort of going to go soon because it's flowering. And more sprouting. Let's get down here a second. Sun's everywhere. More broccoli. Uh, sprouting broccoli is there. So I'll have a few of those very soon. Always one of those. Um, what do you call them? Keder, 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 Kenner. I can't remember what they are now. That toolbox is blown over down there. Look, that buff coloured one. What I'm trying to do is just going to get a bit of footage just so I can sit down at home and plan what to do. It's all very well trying to remember things, but this is why I first started filming. And uh, long before YouTube, I was doing videos just to remind myself of things, you know. Oh, what did I plant there? What did I plant here? Stuff like that. Cauliflower, look at these golden, uh, is it golden fever few? Yeah it is, yeah. God, growing like mad. All self-seeded. A little bit of weeding to do. Savoy cabbage ventus there. Yeah, yeah I was going to pick that one. This some um, herbostella, buck, buck's horn, I think it is. It's growing well. I was going to get rid of that, but I might leave it. It's an acquired taste in a salad, if you know what I mean. It's not, um, it goes with everything else. You wouldn't have it on its own, put it that way. Uh, red ace beetroot. That's where the corn was, obviously, and the last of the beetroot there. So that bed's ready to be used. Um, soft neck and hard neck, I can't remember which is which. And a few brassicas under there. That bed's ready there. The bean bed's ready to be fertilised. Compost, look at that, look at that parsley. Still growing. All winter that's been growing. Mind you, we've had no real, really hard, frosty, whatever you want to call them, have we? So, a bit windy. Yeah, the mixed bed, that's ready for fertilising or composting again. Yeah, 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 I'm just looking, I'm gathering my thoughts, don't worry. Um, black currants, yeah, they're doing alright. Maybe a second pruning on those, I'm not sure yet. This is the area I've got to do a bit of work on at the end here. This is still clay, as you can see. It's not, still not no dig. So I've got another rhubarb to go in. I might try and get some asparagus in, excuse me. I might try and get some asparagus in. 
we'll see. There's the three red currants I put in a couple of months back now. Decimated brassica bed. That's not going to be a brassica bed anymore. I'm going to interplant things. Um, <laughs> need to get some of those brussels picked. Keep picking the smaller ones. I like the smaller ones rather than the bigger ones, so I keep picking those. Again, that's um, Brody and Crispus. These are beetroot zeppo. They're very good. I like them. Make some uh, pickled beetroot soon. I got to sort this bag out. Look at this. The radish in there. Got a solid. <laughs> Ooh, could be the world's biggest radish down there. I'll do that when I got more time. Done a bit of baking today. I just popped out to post some letters. Hmm. A brassica stalk bed with onions in between. A couple of kohlrabi left. Best place for them, really. Leave them in the ground. A couple of kale under there. And some more brassicas. Got some manure to go down. Loads of onions. Can't remember what sort they are. I'll just tell you when I get home. Elephant garlic. They're doing well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So all ten are there. And that's the shallots. Leaks are bolting now, but I still pick them. I just don't eat the core. So, uh, white kale, that'll be going soon. Yeah, it needs, needs a bit of a tidy up and um, get some more wood chip down. There's a big pile of wood chip up there I can use. Like I say, another site, there's no damage really, apart from toolboxes blown over. Tool stores, because there's no structures, if you notice. Like it's flat as a pancake. So. I stood a few up the other day when I came up here, see a few of these toolboxes. Need anchors on them, really. Cool, right, back home. All right, guys, I just popped into the greenhouse, bit of water in. The um, trouble with putting these pot, these uh, trays on the lights, they do dry out quite quick. But then again, they're nice and warm. Um, one of the channels I follow, another one over there in uh, Canadia, across the Atlantic, Clive's Conundrum Garden, Jason and Colleen. Go and uh, go check them out, great channel. I mean, he, um, he was worried about his um, onion sets lifting out of the small cells in his tray. Mine do exactly the same, look. See them? There's a few there. No, that one there is quite pronounced. I poked a few back in, I've reseated a few. And they do it, it's because the roots are poking up. I don't know if I can lift this up. Yeah, look, oh my god, the, the roots are through the matting. About time to get these out, I think. Yeah, so um, they do it. Um, the birds get blamed for it out in the open, but I have seen birds lifting them, so they're not totally blameless. But it's also the roots, if they're not quite deep enough, they get pushed out. Another thing while I'm in here, chitin potatoes. I did uh, happen to mention that it doesn't really matter if they're upside down because you're going to check on them every couple of days and that one there needs turning that way around. And this one here, oh, oh look, there he is, totally upside down. So, you know, it's nice to get them right first time, but not absolutely necessary because you're going to check on them. Do you remember a week or so ago, I chitted or started chitting my Vivaldi potatoes and I did one egg tray with the um, eyes rubbed off and one with the eyes not rubbed off and they were in the bathroom window and I just thought I'd dig them out for now just to show you how they're getting on. Here they are. So these are obviously, oh, gonna, these are obviously they're not rubbed off but the rubbed off ones look all growing. So I'm hoping that's going to dispel the myth that rubbing the eyes off actually works. It doesn't, because they're all growing back, look. So if, this, so if you were just about to plant, say... Oh, let's have to pick one out. Just say you were about to plant that one, and you wanted stronger potatoes, and you rub that one off, it'll grow again underground. So basically, you're wasting your time. You've got to gouge them out with a knife or something like that. The old-fashioned potato peeler works quite well. Right, I'll put these back in the window and um, I'll get back to you soon.